Hi, I'm Mal from AWE, and I'm here to talk about how Control 4 dealers can integrate URC's HDA networked audio platform into their systems. HDA is a range of products that distribute audio across a network. It's a fully matrixing system, which means that any input on any device can be heard on any output of any device, and the common link between them is the network. All streaming between devices works at high resolution audio levels, 96K at 24 bit. And to do this, it uses the AVB protocol, which means that across all zones, you won't have any more latency than two milliseconds. The first product to talk about is the HDA8100. This is an eight in, eight out matrixing amplifier. Each zone works at 100 watts at eight ohms and they can be combined together to make permanent groups. And you can also combine them with the pre-outs if you want to make a 2.1 or a 4.1 zone. For smaller systems, there's a 4x4 version with exactly the same specification on it. Still got 100 watts at 8 ohms on all outputs, 4 inputs and 4 outs. The next device to talk about is the HDA130. This is a little local room amp. It'll take all of the inputs from the other amplifiers and put them out at 30 watts into some speakers in the room. It'll also take the input from, let's say, a TV over optical and distribute that out over the entire system if required. It's got DTS down mixing built into it, so any 5.1 signal will be automatically turned into a stereo stream. If you need an input that's not in the rack, and doesn't require amplification, we have the HDAIO. Now this can be programmed either as an input or as an output if you want to take the rest of this multi-room system and feed it into your AVR. The last amplifier to talk about is the HDA1600. Now this is a bit of a different animal. It's a 600 watt stereo amplifier, so it's either a traditional 600 watts at eight ohms, or it's 600 watts into 70 volt speakers, meaning it's suitable for office spaces, for bars, for garden systems. It's got balanced inputs here, which can either be used for balanced audio or for inputs from microphones. So in a commercial environment, that can be really useful. It's also got the phantom power and the microphone DSP built into it, so you don't need any additional boxes to get that to work. Using microphones in this system and other sources is very easy because the whole platform has a bunch of inbuilt DSPs, including paging and ducking. So if you want notifications from a doorbell or the ability to make announcements, the whole platform can manage that. Every single output of these devices has a configurable high or low pass filter. So if you do use this as a 2.1 or 4.1 system, you can easily configure the audio correctly for the zone. There's also a five band parametric EQ on every single output individually. To combine all these devices together and allow them to stream to each other, we have this. This is the HDA SW5 and it's a five port network switch that supports the AVB protocol. You can daisy chain up to seven of these together, and that gives you a number of ways you can reach a 32 by 32 room configuration if you're using URC's total control platform, or up to a 24 by 24 configuration if you're using Control 4. Let's take a look at the software and see how easy this is to configure. We're gonna use the HDA Connect software to configure a small audio system around the house. We started off by adding our rooms. I like to do this literally, so adding the devices in the rooms where they actually are. It doesn't matter too much, it's whatever makes it easiest for you. We've got a few internal zones and one external, and that'll allow us to show off a few features later on. We're gonna add the HDA4100 into the rack room. That's gonna give us a four by four matrixing amplifier we can use to power some of the rooms. You can configure the pre-outs on some of the channels in case you're using the subwoofer option and you can set what happens with the 12 volt triggers as well. Now the living room has a TV so I'm going to add an HGA 130. I'm going to take the optical feed out of that TV and put it into the amplifier. I'm going to do the same thing in the master bedroom. The cinema has an AVR, so I'm going to use the HDA-IO as an output. 
and plug that straight into the AVR so it can be part of the multi-room system too. The garden has quite a large audio system. We're going to use the HDA1600 for that. One channel will run at 70 volts and we've got some passive subwoofers. I'm going to configure them to come out of the right channel. We're going to use the balanced audio inputs for microphones and set the phantom power up to power them. Once the devices are added, you search the network for each of them. And as long as they're on the network correctly, they'll appear here. And we can assign the devices to the right zone. The properties manager gives us another window where we can set up the configuration for each device. We've seen these options before, but you have a second chance to make any changes you need to at this stage. So if I wanted to change my phantom power level, I can do it at this point. Stage six is where you'll spend most of your time. You'll go through device by device and check that the settings all match what you want the system to do. For example, if I had one source whose line level was slightly different to another, I can equalize them out at this stage. Zone settings is where you'll do most of your work in configuring the audio system. You've got a number of choices here, including maximum volume levels for zones, what level you like the zone to come onto, how fast that audio will come through, and how fast it switches between audio sources. You can have it snap change immediately, or fade the audio out and bring in the new source nice and gently. We'll configure our high and low pass filters if we're using them in this area. And we have access to our full five band parametric EQ. So you can make some very detailed changes to the system on each individual zone. And if I want to see how that sounds, I can connect live to the zone and change all of these settings while listening to these options. I've got noise generators, and all of the settings that we've seen already, I'm just working live. We'll work through each of our zones and make sure that they're configured exactly how we want them. For example, on the HDAIO, which goes out into an AV receiver, I'm going to set that zone output to be fixed, as the AVR is going to do the volume in that zone. Once you've configured all of your zones, head to the Download tab and it'll prompt you to save the program. If the devices have been discovered in Step 4, they'll appear here with their IP addresses and their MAC addresses, and we can download the entire configuration across the network to all the devices. Once you've configured the system using the HDA Connect software, it's easy to add Chow Main's driver via Composer Pro. This gives you complete bi-directional control over IP of every device in the system. You've also got driver events for things like audio sensing, as every input on every device acts as an audio sensor that can trigger an event. This also opens up a whole range of driver actions, as well as your normal treble and bass control, you can get very specific indeed, even down to switching the phantom power on the microphone input or configuring a different lip sync time on a particular zone. But the main thing it gives you access to is a fully networked, flexible installation solution. Whether or not you have a stack of amplifiers in a rack or whether you have 20 or so devices distributed across a house and the only link you have available is the network. It allows you to combine a traditional multi-room audio matrix with higher power products better suited for gardens or for bars or for commercial systems. To find out more, you can sign up for regular training on our Smart Home Academy website or give our sales team a call to discuss it further. Check out more videos below and support our channel by hitting the like button. If you want any of our latest videos, please remember to subscribe and check the bell icon so you'll get notified whenever our new content is released. Please leave any thoughts or questions in the comments section. Thanks for watching.